Hello, my real estate YouTube family. It's Peyton Fisher, and I'm back again with a, another beautiful home walkthrough. On this channel, we talk all things residential, commercial, and general contracting in the real estate world. That said, let's get you inside this house. All right, as we start this process, the first thing I want you to notice is how nice this neighborhood is. Beautiful homes. Now it is Halloween, so we have some creepy decorations going on here, but an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. And I apologize if you're catching any wind here. And as we come over to this front yard, it's a very large lot. And we just have a lot of space over here, flowers, really nice Zen garden. And as we keep coming around the front of this, we can see right here we've got a two-car garage here, but don't let that bother you. We've got a whole nother driveway over here that actually goes all the way down around the back. There's multiple parking here, more parking over there, and a great big garage right down there that I will show you in just a little bit. Now, as we're walking into the house, the specs on this house are, it was built in 1994. The main level has 1,965 square feet. The basement has 955 square feet. I'm sorry, 1,350 square feet. And the total square footage is 4,035 square feet. All right, as we come in, all right, as we come into the house, Immediately to the right, we have a very spacious den. Lots of big lights to let natural light in. Vaulted ceilings. And two very big open doorways. One there and one there. Very large arched doorways. And then to the left, we have a formal dining room, more natural lighting coming from the windows with a recessed ceiling. Very nicely done. Very uh, unique texture. I don't know if that's going to come through on the video, but it's very different from the walls. It looks like a stomp pattern. Okay, and as we come in here, this is the great room, full built-in uh, cabinet or full cabinet set here. And then we've got a real fireplace with uh, maybe a gas insert and then TV setup. And we have two sets of doors that go out to the balcony with the incredible views. And then we have a master bedroom right over here. First thing we are going to go over though is we are going to go up these stairs and check out what's up here. All right, we're gonna choose the left today. So there's three bedrooms up here and one bathroom. This is the first bedroom, big windows, lots of natural light. And as we turn around here, we've got closets, plenty of space. All right, we're gonna come to bedroom number two, which is very similar to bedroom number one, just with a little bit smaller of a window here. We have the same size of closet. And then we come around and we find the bathroom. Now, one nice thing about this bathroom is it does already have granite stone, which is very nice. And then we have uh, acrylic walls, or we have a, a wall, it's not a plastic insert. So those are definitely very nice. And we've got the windows on top, which allow lots of nice light in. This is the third bedroom upstairs. It has the biggest windows. And it also has a great view of the Sullivan Soccer Park over here. And then all the way down over into, I believe that hits even all the way over into St. George. So you can see all the way up on the hill up there. It's just it's a beautiful view. You get a great view of the backyard and the garage over there. It is really windy out today. All right, as we turn around, 
We've got the same standard closet that we had in the other two rooms with the built-in there. All right, we're done with the upstairs. Let's head down. And this you can get a pretty good idea of the house from this angle, or from the living room anyways. All right, and as we come down here, now we're gonna be going into the master bedroom. And the first thing that I want you to notice is how big the windows are. We've got doors out to the balcony. And then we've got our first closet here. Remember, this is just closet one. And then we've got decoration shelves all the way up on the top if you want to put lights there. And the ceiling is very vaulted. It goes way up top. And then as we come in here to the master, we've got the dual vanities. We've got a jetted tub. And we've got these uh, block glass to allow the light in, but nobody can see in. And then we've got a great big uh, shower enclosure here. And then this master closet is really big. It's full of clothes right now, so it doesn't look as big, but it is very big. Now, over here, if you wanted to make this even bigger in this closet right here, there is a hot water heater that could be taken, changed out, moved downstairs. And you could even extend this, uh, you could extend this closet all the way back over into there and even if you really want to get to it you could put it into that closet all the way on the other side to make it even bigger and bigger so restroom there with the cabinets above which is always nice and this is the closet that i was saying that you could join this to if you wanted to just pop a little hole in that wall and just have a huge closet so let's move into the dining area Now we've got a little kitchen table here that allows you to see throughout the whole valley. Absolutely beautiful views. You get a great view of how big the deck is from here. And then our uh, kitchen here. We've got nice granite. We've got cabinets all over the place. Nice double oven. I'm going to turn here. Now, this is the door from here. So when we first came in the house, that's the dining room. You come around, that's the stairs to go downstairs. And then we're going to turn here. We're going to come over and look. We've got the washer and dryer. And this is always really nice to have a sink in your laundry room. More counter space, more cabinets all the way there. And then we've got a half bathroom which is really nice to have right off of the garage. So I'm going to back up here and we're going to take a left and we're going to peek into this garage here. I'm going to turn around so you can see. So lots of garage space. Someone's built in these cabinets for storage. And so when we come back in here, what I want to do is I want to go out on this patio before we go downstairs. Let's see if we can make that work. I apologize if the audio gets kind of choppy again. It is very windy. Got a great view of the pool back here. We've got we've got the hot tub, pool, and it looks like a koi pond over here. really windy out there so now we're gonna head downstairs 
got some fun custom lights up on the stairs. You could do some really fun paintings, pictures along the walls there. I'll turn you back around so you can see the stairs again. Up, down. Okay. Now, the first room here is massive. This is what I would definitely call a huge great room. So we've got the gas fireplace there. And then we have our, you have pretty much another master suite right here. It's got lots of windows. And we're using the stairwell as our walk-in closet here. So there is still quite a bit of shelving space. Oh, no, I didn't see these guys before. So this is where a heater is. Partial mechanical room. And then we've got, in here, we've got a full bathroom. We've got the tub built up. And then in here is our other, this is our 50 gallon gas water heater with a new water softener. And I don't know how well that's gonna pick it up, but that is where we've got our mechanicals there. All right, and now we're gonna come back out. And we're gonna go over to this side, which could be yet another bedroom. It could be an art room, craft room, pretty much anything project room. This is set up really well. And then this is great for cold storage because I'm putting my hand on this wall and it's really nice and cool. So they have a freezer right here, and then we just have a bunch of more storage. Right up against that wall, that's the best place to, to store things that are gonna get, that need to be cool. All right, and then I'll show you this. They have cabinets along this wall. To make it more of a craft project, this could be definitely another bedroom. This could be a movie theater room, all kinds of ideas. And then the options in this room are literally endless on what you could do. So I'm going to head outside. I apologize if the audio is is loud, if the wind gets me. But I'm just going to quickly show you here. This is the pool. So this is part of the front yard. They've got the gate there where we showed you this really pretty area. We got the hot tub. And we come down. And we've got this really cool shaped pool. But one of the smart things I think they did is they put this automatic cover can push the button and close it right up which is really nice and then we've got this koi pond right here which I think is void right now of koi and we're gonna walk down here so you guys can see this really fun kitchenette out here on the back so we've got a sink back here and we've got just a, a place for more storage under here and it's really fun gazebo. Oh man, you could have some of the most fun parties back here. And the driveway that I showed you from the beginning, it actually comes all the way down here and then you can park right in there. Uh, and then we've got all of these square foot gardening beds here. Give you a good pano of the back of the house. Super beautiful. And then I'm gonna stand on top here so you can see so the property actually goes all the way down there to that fence. So if you wanted to do a great big garden, you could do something all the way down that yard. And then yours goes, the boundaries go all the way over there. And then we have this garage, another two car garage, which it's got built in shelves. Um, it's got the door access here. So we've got this room right here. And then we've got another room that comes in. And so there is, so it's got a vent for an AC already plugged, plugged there in the hole. We've got plenty of electrical on that. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this house, please go ahead, drop a comment below, reach out via text message, or give me a call. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a terrific day. See you later.